We are very much a side that is both sides of the coins. One side, we are absolutely brilliant against teams that are weaker than us. On the other side, we get blown away by teams that are a lot better than us. You're probably going to see that in this episode. Hi folks and welcome to Club 3, episode 12 of Half Star to 5 Star here on Football Manager 24. I'm Russ Cook. Today we have two games for you. The first one is away to Manchester United in the Champions League. Then we play Atletico Madrid in La Liga. So since you guys were at last with us, you saw the Marseille and the Osasuna game. We got blown away by Brighton 4-1. We then beat Almeria 1-0, Villarreal 2-0, Elche 3-0 and then took apart by Inter Milan. They beat us 4-0. Alves, we beat them 3-0. Valencia took us apart, beat us 5-0. We then beat uh, Winter Third. We beat them 4-1. Beat Sevilla 3-1. And then Athletic Club beat us 4-1. So as I said, very good against teams that are weaker than us. But blown away by teams that are a lot better than what we are. Competition-wise, in the Champions League, we are in 19th place. So we're on course to finish within the top 24, which is lovely, lovely stuff. And then in La Liga, we are in 4th. 14 games played, 10 wins, 4 losses. No draws so far. 30 points on the table. Game and hand on Atletico Madrid. Um, but we're only three points behind Batiste, so I mean, we could catch him. Barcelona's up there. It looks like Real Madrid are having a pretty bad season as well. Steve Hood is one of the top goal scorers. He's second top goal scorer at the moment with nine goals. Transfers them. Nothing's happened since then. We have agreed a deal for someone to come at the end of the season. Uh, Franco de Michel. Uh, he is a central defender. We're going to pay £12.5 million for him from Inter Milan. He's got good potential. That's why we brought him in. And I mean, Pacho's probably going to leave at the end of the season. So is Fafana. So we do need another body to come in. And that's who we've got. So let's, let's not worry about the future. Let's worry about now and playing Manchester United. And the team we're putting out there for this game is Tomas in goal. A back four. Carboni, Pacho, Sakati and Fafana. Burnell and Aguma in the centre of midfield. Merlin, Gonzalez and Kellyman supporting Hood up front. There was a game. I think it was the... Might have been the Sevilla game. Might have been the game before. Yeah, it was the Sevilla game where Kellyman got two goals, got an assist as well. He's just turned into such a wonderful attacking midfielder for us. Gets the goals, creates the goals, and I'm hoping he's going to do it in this game here. When I said at the intro, you're going to see both sides of the coins. I don't think it's going to be both sides of the coins. I think it's going to be the tail side of it where Manchester United blows away and then Atletico Madrid blows away. If I'm wrong, then they're lovely stuff. We, we would be... On course to to probably finish within the, the the top the top 24 of the Champions League earlier than I'd be expecting. We've got a throw in here. Carboni puts it in from the cross. Ah, it was underneath. Uh, who's out on that right hand side? Uh, who's there? It's Kellyman who's out on that right hand side. It was underneath him. He was trying to get underneath the goalkeeper. Couldn't get it. Manchester United break down the left hand side. They put it into the box. We need to defend this nicely. We haven't. And Manchester United take the lead. 15 minutes on the clock. Yeah, not the start I was expecting. I was I was hoping we'd get to at least half hour or the or the hour mark before before conceding the goal. But Manchester United take the lead. They are the better team, as I said. They're playing the four three three, so they're going to try and dominate the centre of the pitch. We just need to stay alert to anything they try and do. Half hour gone. They got a free kick. It was Rashford, parried away by Tomas. We have a corner to defend now. As long as we get a social dad head on this, I will be happy. In comes the corner. Fofana sort of gets it clear. It's back into the mixer by Manchester United. We've got it clear. It's in the box. Oh, Merlin's there. We can't get the ball away. Good save from Tomas. I thought Rashford's head had hit the post. It hadn't. It was pushed over by the keeper. Another corner to defend. We do defend it, but it's back out of the corner taker. Bobbled around. This is... Pim... It's like... Pimble defending. Go Gonzalez, sorry, gets it clear. It's only as far as a Manchester United player. We're under so much pressure at the moment. Burnell steps in, does well to hold it. Gonzalez out to Merlin, feeds it up the line into Hood. Hood's got a little bit of space to work with. He's got two players around him now. Chips in edge of the box. There's Gonzalez there, facing the wrong way. Manchester United break. They're on the counter attack down the right hand side. Are oh, they going to score here, aren't they? I know if I've played foot manager long enough to know what happens. Proven wrong there. Very, very good, strong hands from Thomas, from the ball blasted at him. And we've not registered the shot yet. 40 minutes, wrong attacking mentality as well. We just can't seem to get the ball at the pitch and get a, get an attack on. Rasmus Hoyland should have done better with that one. He was offside. Should have at least put it into the back of the net. Half time approaches and the whistle goes there. We have been dreadful this game. Just pinned back in our half. 
Um, what should we say to them? We'll say that, get a goal. Who's playing poorly? It could probably come off. There's a lot of players that are playing bad, to be honest. Hood, Merlin, Kellyman, Carboni. Let's make a quick change. Uh, fitness wise, it looks like Kellyman's probably going to be the man that makes way. Uh, Bradley Barcola can come on and play on that right hand side. That's the only change I'm going to make for now. There will be more coming because, yeah, look at the average ratings. It's, it's, it's not great. I'm going to drop us on to a positive mentality as well. Just to. I think we need to defend more. We're allowing Manchester United to attack a bit more. And I think if we go on to the positive, we should be able to defend and then break. Uh, our gone. We still haven't registered a shot. So let's, let's make some changes. Let's bring on... Let's bring on Cho to go up front. Who else is playing back? I thought I took Kellyman off. Oh, Kellyman's on the right. That's why I didn't go through. Come on, Russ. Think. Um... Right then, we'll have to bring on Gonzalez. Can he play out there? He can. I suppose Cho goes there. I haven't really got another striker on the pitch there. That's the only problem. Uh, Oliazola's going to have to come on, I think. I don't really like Oliazola, but it needs must at the end of the day. We haven't got another striker. Another striker on the bench. Throw in for Manchester United. They've gone long. It's gone back to Guy Hee. They're now working it up through the centre. We tried to say that Hernandez didn't want to, didn't want to bother wanting to come to us. He went to Manchester United. I can see why Aguma cuts out the attack. It is Cho with the ball, right hand side, and he's just fed it into Guy's path. Yeah, frustrate him. Manchester United are frustrating us. I think we're frustrating ourselves as well, to be honest. Fed that into the box. Good save from Tomas. Sort of Hoyland sort of snapped it, trying to get it into the corner. Is what he should have done instead of putting it where the goalkeeper is. Corner, we defended it. We sort of do. Gonzalez gets it clear, but it's only to a Manchester United player. But nothing come of that. The, the highlight does end. It was poor from them. Uh, Fafana is going to be the next man that comes off. I think we I think we changed both the the wing backs in this game. Manchester United down the right hand side. We just allowed him to get past us. Then Pacho gets it clear. Carboni's got it. Oh, what have you done, Sunshine? Luckily, the shot was absolutely dreadful from Hernandez. But why, why did we play it there? We should have just got it clear. Carboni now, left-hand side. Into Barcola. Gonzalez now, centre of the pitch. Trying to shift the play out to Cho. He, he can't get it to him. Manchester United break again. Oh, Brunel's there. Does well, feeds it into Aguma, who's giving it to Cho. Fafana, right-hand side. Sakati now. Trying to work it out from the back. Burnell turns, goes back to Pacho though. Gonzalez, oh, he's giving it away. It's little mistakes like this that are going to hurt us. And Tomas with the save. It was a dreadful shot from Manchester United anyway. Let's change the wing backs. Be the final thing we do in this game. So Silvestri can come on for Fafana. And at left back, Kires can come on for Carboni. There we go. All the substitutions now done. Do we have anything in us? I am going to encourage us. And Manchester United have just done that to us. I don't think there was much Tomas could have done. He, he dived the ball, hit the crossbar, and it just fell down. Our defenders weren't reacting enough. And yeah, Manchester United double their lead with five minutes to go. They're looking for a third here. The way we played, you'd think Manchester United could probably get a third. Rashford into Ribberman. I, mean, I shouldn't be saying the names because they're going to score. Rash, I said it again. Rashford there. Barcola gets the ball up the left hand side. Plays it forward. He's, what's he trying to do? Play it to himself. Uh, I guess there was no other options. Or maybe he should have just booted it longer. Booted it harder. Put it out for a goal kick or something. At least we'd have got our players into position to sort of deal with Manchester United. Because we're not at the moment. Everything they do is is that. Who's going to be a VR check? Is someone going to go on our, our way in this game? No. Nope. 3-0 Manchester United. And this is what I mean. We're getting blown away by teams that are a lot better than what we are. Hell of a lot better than we are. So we take another loss in the Champions League. Um, yeah, I wasn't happy with that performance. A lot of players didn't turn up. A lot of players didn't play how it's better. I'm not going to shout it anymore. I think I've, I've done enough by saying that to the boys. I don't want to single anyone out. We're down to 22nd in the Champions League group. 
And the games we got coming up, we got Bayern Munich, which I don't think we can win that one. Nice and Astana. So there's at least six points we can pick up. Let's have a look at the competition at the moment. If we win those, 12 points, we should finish here. I say should. There's a couple of teams down here that probably catch us up. Ajax, Milan, Sevilla, Shakhtar. We should be okay. Should finish in the top 24, but yeah. Let's shift our focus to the league then. The team then for the Atletico Madrid game is Tomas in goal, a back four, Kires, Pacho, Albu and Silvestri. Burnell and Chalon in the centre of midfield. Merlin, Kelly, Munn and Cho supporting Hood up front. We need a big response after the 3-0 loss to Manchester United. We need a better performance. I'm not worried if we lose. I just want a better performance in what we played last time. Um, say that to the boys. Because that, I mean, that, 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 that game against United was dreadful. We were poor. And we're, we're at home in this game. So I, I expect us to be putting a show on for the fans. And we're playing against a back seven. So um, we've got four up front. We've got the Mazala coming in. So we should, in theory, be okay. I mean, we're probably not. Probably going to end up soaking up a lot of pressure from, from Sociedad. Uh, from, from Atletico Madrid, sorry, we are so should add. But at the moment, we've had two shots, both of those on target. So we're doing okay. We're doing better than I, I, I sort of expect us to. Atletico Madrid are third in the league. So it is a it is a, it's a top of the table clash, sort of, if, if, if you want to put it that way. And at the moment, this game's been boring. The first highlight is here is a throw in for us. Silvestri into Albu. The only option to go to was Patch on this in the centre of the pitch. And he's got options to the left if we can use him. He doesn't. He goes through the centre to Burnell. Merlin. Kellyman touched it on the hood. Shot. There we go. First highlight. First goal. 12th goal of the season for Steve Hood as well. That's all you needed. That's all we needed. That tiny little break. And, and yeah, we've, we've hit the back of the net. And it's, it's well worked through the team. And, and tucked away nicely. Steve Hood is turning into an absolutely fantastic striker. I'm hoping he's going to get called up to the England team soon. Because I think that's the next thing for him. Half time. We're doing well. 1-0 up. Not going to make any changes just yet. As they make two changes there. I was going to encourage, but I don't think we need to. I think if we can sit with this, this is, is good. I mean, they've now changed to the 4-4-2. Realising that the 5-2-3 wasn't actually working for them. They're now feeding it up through the centre of the pitch after receiving it from a free kick. You need to put pressure on, boys. That's what you need to do. Put the pressure on and get the ball off them. They're playing it around nicely at the moment. Just a little passage of passing. Can't get it off them. Although we've done well there. Cho steps in. Silvestri picks up the loose ball. Feeds it into Kelly Munn. And we've lost it. Kelly Munn needs to get back. So does Silvestri. We're all out of positions. Albu gets it and gives it to Shalon. Who clears it up to Steve Hood. He also loses it. And... Uh, it, it's a lot... There's, there's a lot to, to unpick there. The mistakes we made. Mistakes on the left-hand side of the pitch. Right-hand side for us. Mistakes in the middle. We're just taking heavy touches in... Yeah, we've, we've been our own worst enemy there. Absolutely our own worst enemy. And here come Atletico Madrid again down their left-hand side. I don't want to carbon... It's very similar, though. Tomas is there to to step in, win the ball, clutches it to his chest. Options to the left, options to the right. Where's he going to go with it? He goes through the centre into Chalon. Ah, oh, Merlin wanted it at his feet. Wasn't willing to come for it. Wasn't willing to come for the ball, and, and you'd like to think they're probably going to score here. Silvestri gets it clear. There's, I thought it hit his arm there. I thought it hit his arm. Right, let's make some substitutions. Um, Kellyman needs to come off. We will bring on who can play there. Gonzalez is going to have to come on to play in the shadow striker role. Uh, Cooper can come on for who was playing. Who was tired? Um, let's take Cho off. They two can go that way. There's three that we're going to make for now. Um, I am going to give them a, a shout of encouragement. Since they've changed the formation, we've been second to everything. We've got a throw in to defend here. We just can't get hold of the ball. They shift it out to this right-hand side. Volley cross. Albu gets it clear. Bernardo's got it. Why did you run away from the ball? 
Why did he run away from it? Kirez gets it into Cooper. Hood with the ball. I thought he took a heavy touch then. Gives it back to Cooper. Back into Burnell. Chalon have a shot from range. He does. It's over the bar though. It's good effort. I I can't get my head why he ran away from the ball. Ran the opposite direction to where the ball was going. Oh. Little mistakes of that. Right. Changes at the back. Trilly can come on for Silvestri. And uh, da, 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 da. let's bring on Gianpetro. He can come on for Shalom. Confirm that. There's the changes. Ah, oh, there's men are rest the cat for this game as well. We've got him on the bench, but at least he's not come on, so shouldn't hurt him too much. Four minutes of time added on in this game. I think we're just going to go to the full time whistle with the 1 1 draw here. It's a point, which is good. It's nothing lost, nothing gained, really. Uh, they were unlucky. Chalon's had a bad game. Maybe we need to have a little bit of work on the midfield. So, yeah, as I said, nothing lost, nothing gained. Although Batiste now have a game in hand on us. They could go five points clear. Hoping it's not going to happen. Hopefully they can slip up. Schedule them. I think we come back. Four... Or do we do the Super Cup and try and win another trophy? I think that sounds good. We will do, actually. We'll do the Super Cup. And then we'll do Real Betis because Betis are top of the league. If we can beat them, that'd be good. And then hopefully we can pick up another trophy by beating Barcelona. But if you guys have enjoyed that, big thumbs up on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already done so. And as always, folks, thank you very much for watching.